Hi everyone, it's Gaban here again. It's time for another gaming collection video. This time we're going to look at my Sony PS3 collection. This is my Japanese PS3 60 gig, which I picked up in Japan in 2007. It's uh, my pride and joy as it is the one that has the four USB ports, memory card ports, and also the backwards compatibility for PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2. Uh, I've actually upgraded it so it's now got a free 20 gig hard drive rather than the standard 60. Uh, so I've got a lot more space for download and stuff. Now we're going to move on to the accessories and the games. Right, the first accessory I've got for my PS3 obviously is the controller. This is uh, the 6 axis controller that's uh, not dual shot free, just normal 6 axis. I have two of these. I uh, picked these up in Japan when I picked up the uh, PS3. Uh, in fact, a funny thing was when I was buying the PS3, I was asked by the sales guy if I really wanted the 60 gig. Um, I was a bit surprised that the foreigner was buying 60 gig because everyone seems to be buying 20 gigs at the time. Um, I've also got the a dual shock free um, black one. I got this as soon as it came out. Uh, had it shipped over from um, actually shipped over from Hong Kong, but it's Japanese one. Um, so I was really happy when that came out and got that. The next thing I've got is this. This is the uh, Sony official memory card reader uh, for the PS3. It reads your PS2, PS1 memory cards and just connects your PS3 via USB. It's great if uh, if you've got um, a PS2 game still. Or, or even PS1 games and you want to play the the uh, games on other other consoles move them around um, in fact uh, I actually use it mostly for backing up uh, memory cards from my PS2, P PS1, the power models um, so I can keep those and in fact I've also used this to copy the uh, entire uh, camo set that was available for download from uh, Konami for Metal Gear Solid 3 on the uh, PS2, which I actually put a link up on the on the site for people to uh, download if they if they want if they've got Metal Gear Solid 3 and want the camo set. Obviously, the, they have been pulled off of the uh, PS3, so they you need to be able to you can write back to the PS2 memory cards and say something like this is very helpful for that. And next thing I've got is this. This is the uh, SingStar adapter for the uh, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 3, and the USB. That's the uh, Two different ports on there, and obviously for that, I've also got the two mics, which are there, the red and the blue band, corded ones. I've not been bothered to pick up the uh, wireless ones yet, um, purely because you've got a nice long cord on these. It's really, really long cord. And it's great use. Um, for those of you who've seen my other videos, you've probably noticed that I have a, a great fun and a, a collection of the different guns for the uh, PlayStation systems. Um, PS3 is no exception. I've got the Guncom 3, uh, released by Namco for Time Crisis 4. Um, it works in the same way as the Wii does. It actually has a infrared camera in there, which picks up the positioning of this box here. All these boxes that are sp spaced over your TV so that it can identify its location and position and where you're pointing out on the screen. Um, all powered off USB, so they all work just by being plugged into the PS3. Uh, has a stick on the back rather than the D-pad, the, the DualShock 2 pad. Also has a second stick, or actually a first stick on the secondary handle. Two buttons there, with your trigger button. You've lost the reload to the bottom, but you've got two buttons there, and also a button there. And a button there, which aren't duplicated on the other side. Um, so that's that. And the final accessory that I've got for the PS3 is this. This is my uh, Hori Fighting Stick 3. Um, lovely arcade stick for the PlayStation 3, it's great. Uh, prefer this to the Mad Cats ones that they've released for Street Fighter, things like that. Really enjoy this, got nice, nice buttons. Very responsive stick. Um, you've also got all the button layouts. So you've got the L buttons, the R buttons, including the L, L3, R3, um, and obviously all things like that. Uh, brilliant for Street Fighter or any other beat em up, which when you see the games I have, you'll, you'll see how many of those I have. All right, now we're going to move on to the games. First game we've got is uh, Folk Soul. It's known as Folklore in the US and UK, but this is the Japanese version. Next one is Fallout 3, the power version. I was really annoyed when I got this because I picked it up and had the game for 
couple of months and I was waiting for the expansions to come out but they then said the expansions were only going to come out on the 360 so I went out and picked up a 360 copy cheap um, I got you a very cheap from, from a store that's closing down um, and then just after I picked up the Xbox version they announced that all the expansion packs were coming out onto this one so I was annoyed I've got the American version of Enchanted Arms the American Collector's Edition of uh, Devil May Cry 4 the UK version of Dead Space the PAL version of Assassin's Creed the Japanese version of Ridge Racer 7 which is one of the, one of the first games I got really enjoy it it's got the European version of Resistance Fall of Man which is quite good because it doesn't have the uh, region in issue where it blocks out certain content on the Japanese machines uh, like it does with the American version of the disc got the PAL version of Batman Arkham Zone really enjoyed this game, it was a great game looking forward to the second one and I've also got the PAL version of Tekken 6 next is the American version of Condemned 2 Bloodshot the PAL version of Dark Sector the PAL version of Dante's Inferno the Japanese version of Final Fantasy 13 the PAL version of God of War 3 next is the Japanese version of Bayonetta now I really enjoyed this game and when it was coming out in the UK uh, UK stores were offering a pre-order bonus where you could get the Scarborough Fair which is uh, Bayonetta's gun as a as like a, a collectible item it was a no, it was just a cast iron version of the gun and uh, so I actually ordered an Xbox version of the UK one which I sold to a friend um, to the, so I could just get hold of the, the gun um, the funny thing was I didn't receive it and when I contacted gamers that I hadn't received my copy of the gun they then sent me a second one and the first, both of them came through the post at the same time so I've actually do have quite two copies of Bayonetta Scarborough Fair gun next we've got Lego Indiana Jones the original that's uh, PAL and Lego Batman as well which is PAL next I've got Cross Edge Japanese version and the PAL version of the Mega Drive Ultimate Collection which I believe in the America is known as the Sonic Mega Collection or something like that then I've got Uncharted 2 on PAL and Ninja Gaiden Sigma 2 PAL I've then got the steel case edition of Turok in the PAL version and PAL version of Darksiders I then got the Japanese version of Virtual Fighter 5 And Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 PAL version. I then have the PAL version of Time Crisis 4 and Transformers the game which is based on the movie and the American version of uh, Uncharted Dante's Forge. I have the PAL version of uh, Grand Turismo 5 Prologue and uh, Motorstorm Pacific Rift Infamous, uh, Singstar with the uh, Singstar, the first Little Big Planet, obviously with the second one coming out soon, and uh, Transformers War for Cybertron, which is my favourite game, Transformers game that's in the current generation, really is fun, and 3D Dot Game Heroes. It's a really great classic style uh, Zelda, you know, original Zelda style RPG game um, where you get to create your own character and play it. It's brilliant. And I've got Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, that's the PAL version, as well as Transformers Revenge of the Fallen, which is based on the Transformers second movie. I've also got uh, Agris Generation of War, which is a fun little RPG game. Then I've got the 
Street Fighter 4 and Super Street Fighter 4. Really enjoy these games. I still play them a lot. Still do a lot of online um, using my horror stick. So, you know, massive Street Fighter fan. Keeps playing a lot. And to keep the beat ups going, we've also got Blaze Blue, which is the American version. I actually got this with the limited edition that came with the extra disc that had uh, had a uh, making of disc and also had the soundtrack on there as well. Which is great. I've got the American God of War collection, which is God of War 1 and 2, uh, upped into 720p. I have the PAL version of uh, Nier. And Ninja Gaiden Sigma. Uh, the original Motorstorm. and Mortal Kombat vs DC. I've also got the power version of Metal Gear Solid 4. Uh, I actually got this again as a limited edition which came with a Solid Snake figure and a making of DVD and soundtrack CD. I've got the uh, X-Men Origins Wolverine uh, game obviously on the Xbox and PS3 it was considered the uncaged edition. Uh, I've also got Resistance Fall of Man 2, or just Resistance 2 as they called it. I have the Japanese version of Yakuza 3, which I picked up a long time before the game even came out in Europe and America. And the PAL version of uh, Discaya 3. I have the PAL version of uh, Battle Fantasia, which is a, a fun cutesy beat up made by the same guys who do uh, Blaze Blue and Guilty Gear. Assassin's Creed 2. Soul Calibur 4. Heavenly Sword. And the Japanese version of uh, Hot Shots Golf, or Everybody's Golf, depending where you come from, uh, number five. So that's all my PS3 games, so I'll see you around.